very good morning to all the children of class 10th d yes beta we are going to uh, start this chapter madam rides the bus okay regarding the notebooks i will be sending instructions in the group so please do follow accordingly clear uh, this chapter of the book first flight page it is written on the board 116 fine so let's start the introduction first so what is there in this chapter madam rides the bus so you can see some characters here so we have the protagonist main character is an 8 year old girl in this chapter okay her name is waliamma fine so waliamma is 8 year old girl and you will call her walli nickname fine we can call her walli i'll be addressing this girl throughout the name of walli she has nickname pen name is walli so she is 8 year old girl the next character is walli's mother she will be there though uh, she doesn't have that many dialogues or you can say not that much presence but yes she's part of this chapter then we have neighbors of walli amma then we have a bus conductor bus driver and an old lady who is uh, also there inside the bus okay who is eating nuts you will remember them uh, i will tell you later on fine so these are the characters of this chapter madam rides the bus is it clear to you all now let's talk about the theme theme is first and foremost theme is curious nature of children you know that when children are on the growing stage specifically when they turn 3 to 4 even when they are in the toddler hood when toddler group so what they do they want to experience each and everything they will touch every object they will try you know that's why young children they distort so many things they destroy because they are learning to grip the things they are learning to explore what is this what is that ye kya hota hai isko kaise karte hain ye game kaise khelte hain means n number of questions they keep on asking fine that shows that kids are curious they are inborn curious because they are not adults uh, when they see that their adults are uh, like into many activities and they don't know how to do this and they are not allowed to follow some norms in the family then they start becoming more curious when they are stopped from what they want they when they are not allowed to explore the outside world then they become more curious you know there are chances but if the child is curious let them uh, explore but with the guidance of the adults not all alone if they will do without any guidance they will learn wrong things also but when there is guidance of one of the parents or both the parents uh, then they will be able to learn the things in a right way desire to explore the things by actually experiencing them you will ask a child na that isko todna nahi hai don't do this they will do that you stop them they do not understand that word unko lagta hai kyun roka hai isko acha you will not uh, eat this chocolate wo khayenge you stop them they will prove you wrong so children are like that only they are stubborn ziddi hote hai wo and they think that why are we are being stopped acha isme kuch hoga aisa nahi karna hai they will do this fine they will do follow this what you are being stopped they will do quite opposite to that clear they are like that they are they are you can say uh, having the inclination towards experiencing the things though there will be a lot of uh, trouble for elderly ones in the family so next is innocent world of children that is also one of the themes that how a child thinks fine so that's why this chapter also teaches us that we should have one to one conversation with our children we should know what's going on in their minds so that you know there are uh, many children who gets lost every day they forget their path they are being abducted by others fine child molesting is going on we need to teach our children now that this is the time which is very uncertain that we have to be very very careful fine so this chapter is going to tell us about but there is it's not about the child abuse child trafficking no this is just this chapter is uh, actually you might have seen that baby's day out that movie agar nahi dekhi hai to do watch it fine baby's day out this is the name of the movie 
and this movie became so famous that in that they have shown that even a, a few month old baby the baby crawls only abhi wo bhi chalta bhi nahi hai that baby keeps on you know two people they try to abduct him usko uh, aate hain pakadne and he keeps on uh, though it is fictional only they have just you know uh, shown to us but that movie is very funny fine that is not real but just for the sake of like it this movie has shown us how uh, no kartike two men were there not three people you can see to it okay two men were there who go to uh, catch that baby and they kept on roaming and that baby goes on and on at the end of the day the how the baby reaches back to his parents that journey is marvelous though it is fiction but actually uh, that is amusing so you can relate that movie here but in this chapter there is no you can say in uh, toddler is not there she is 8 year old but 8 year old girl also she is not that smart uh, she 8 year old children are yes they are smarter these days but they are not uh, you can say they cannot uh, behave like adults or they cannot take decisions of their lives they are not at uh, that age fine so waliamma 8 year old girl she is going to ride the bus without the knowledge of her mother so mother doesn't know that she is going to take a bus so she was smart enough to uh, plan everything that she kept on listening to the talks of her neighbors ki itne baje bus jati hai na neighbors were in uh, daily commuters of bus they would go through the bus uh, on daily basis so she would listen to their conversations ki itna fear lagta hai bus ka itne baje jati hai itne baje aati hai this time the, then she you know plans everything smartly that at uh, af in, at the afternoon time is the nap time nap is a uh, sleep time for the mother when after having meals people sleep for a while so she decides ki in the nap time i will go when my mother is sleeping and within that because it takes 40 minutes to that bus to come back also so within 42 minutes to some uh, one or two hours i will come back before my mother wakes up so she decides she boards the bus all alone she collects she saves money for the fare and then she boards the bus what sh- uh, what kind of experiences she had in the bus that we will be reading okay so this chapter is going to tell us about the curious nature of uh, children that how they want to know each and everything fine wali kanan is the writer of this bus fine wali kanan is the writer of this screen is visible to you all beta send me feedback immediately yes can you see the screen fine in this sensitive story beta you can keep your books even i am going to read from my book i will be keep on scrolling the screen also for you but keep your book with you in this sensitive story an 8 year old girl's first bus journey into the world outside her village is also her induction into the mystery of life and death she sees the gap between our knowing that there is death and our understanding of it i didn't tell you about this major discovery of this girl she goes in the bus she comes back in the bus she does not go to wander outside wo bus se utar ke ghoomne nahi jayegi but she will experience a major thing in her life during that journey you know we have heard about the things jab hum chote hote hain we have you know a lot of uh, curiosity ki acha death hoti hai okay fine a person dies and all but when we actually see it we become scared hum dar jate hain being young children we are unable to understand the concept of death by seeing the dead bodies and all that's very difficult for a child to perceive you know so how she will be able to learn the gap between life and death and how uh, when she experiences something 
horrible throughout the way through the way how her behavior changes fine so let's start reading from page 117 these expressions will be coming on when we will read okay how many of you before i start how many of you have traveled in the bus bus mein travel kis kis ne kiya hua hai almost all of us might have done kuch bacche bus se school aate hain if you are not using the bus for coming to school yes laksh mehak paramveer yes school bus is there definitely bism but there are some children who do not come by bus to school but they might have done the journey while going there uh, to some outside the city fine or along with school you might have gone to some place fine so everybody of us i guess everybody of us yes paramveer is saying we went to trip to chhatbir zoo in 8 so do you have experienced at least once in life so when we go by bus what do we notice outside you just uh, raise your hand i will unmute you or you can type in the chat box i will name you when you uh, go through the bus kya kya dekhte ho aap window side pe we relish the natural beauty fine yes trees what else there are some children who keep on cracking jokes uh they start talking they start eating uh, but some children they love to relish the outside beauty fine they they see uh, animals and plants and if if you are going to a uh, mountain area then you love to watch mountains over there or sometimes our bus is standing on a halt at a stop then we observe people also we meet new people Throughout the journey, जर्नी हमें लोग मिलते हैं देर आर समीपल हु ऑफर यू देयर सीट बिकॉज इट इज क्वाइट रश ओवर देयर क्राउड इज देयर दे विल ऑफर यू दे विल बी समीपल हु आर वेरी रिजिड दे लेडीज आर स्टैंडिंग किड्स आर स्टैंडिंग एल्डरली पीपल आर वेटिंग बट दे विल नॉट गेट अप फ्रॉम देयर सीट्स ऐसे लोग भी होते हैं एडमेंट होके बैठे रहते हैं फाइन सो डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पर्सनैलिटीज वी मीट इन द बस fine so different experiences we can have we can go through the market places railway tracks dekhte hain hum animals ko dekhte hain hills dekhte hain a lot of lists they have given in your book only roadside shops fine on page 116 they have mentioned so n number of things are there so let's see what she is going to do there was a girl named waliamma who was called valli for short she was 8 years old and very curious about things underline this is character of valli amma also she is 8 years old she is very curious her favorite pastime was standing in the front doorway of her house watching what was happening in the street outside to uska favorite pastime kya hai to stand in the door apne ghar ke darwaze mein khada ho ke she used to look outside her uh, door and what people are doing what uh, what is happening in the street and why why she is doing so because she does not have any other playmate of her own age and this was all about she had to do she does not have any sibling also jiske sath wo ghar pe khel leti koi neighborhood mein bhi koi children nahi hai and she she that's rat that's why she make made it a, a past time that she would stand at the door and she would look outside okay There were no playmates of her own age on the street, and this was about all she had to do. But for Valli, standing at the front door was every bit as enjoyable as any of the elaborate games other children played. Watching the street gave her many new, unusual experiences. Most of us are not at all good observers. If I ask you that, how many? uh you can say electric poles are there in your area or from your house to when you reach uh the school how many signals you cross then you need to think about it then you will count it and then you will tell me it means we are not good observers we are so in mad race of reaching the place or going to our destinations or we are so busy in our own lives that we have stopped admiring the people around us you know we have stopped looking at others so we are so busy everybody has bugged up life busy life 
so that girl she keeps on standing at because she does not have any company nothing to do and she loves the standing over there it doesn't mean she is just passing the time she loves this is her most enjoyable activity other children loves to play games outside she loves to play uh, see and observe people that means what they are doing how they are boarding the buses how bu buses are passing how the luggage is being kept so everything she notices she loves to observe that clear so because this gives her you can see in the picture valli standing at the door looking outside a bus is there animal is there so so she is observing everything okay anybody would like to read if anybody likes to read then raise your hand i will unmute you you should do active participation okay tanya make sure there is no disturbance uh, at your side okay please read the most fascinating thing of all was the bus that traveled between her village and the nearest town it passed through her street each hour once going to the town and once coming back the sight of the bus filled each time with a new set of passengers was a source of unending joy for valli day after day she watched the bus and gradually a tiny wish crept into her head and grew there she wanted to ride on that bus even if just once this wish became became stronger and stronger until it was an overwhelming desire valli would stop stare here. stop here so the most fascinating fascinating means the most attractive thing of all that you know when she would stand over there at the door she would see usne notice kara that the bus is there which is traveling uh, Uh, from her village to the town and again coming back from town to her village every hour you know every hour buses are passing and every time new set of people new faces are there new passengers unending joy she was so happy to see ki acha itne log ja rahe hain wow so that was quite thrilling experience for her and day after day she watched the bus daily and gradually you know that dheere dheere dekhte dekhte she had a wish a small wish in her mind that you know i should also ride the bus mujhe bhi bus mein baithna i want to ride and i want to experience but slowly and steadily that wish became so strong that it became that wish changed into overwhelming desire I mean she was not able to stop it now she was thinking about this thing only all the time that i have to board the bus i have to drive uh, sorry i have to uh, experience the ride of the bus right now we are going to read from this yes tanya valli would stare wistfully at the people who got on or off the bus when it stopped at the street corner their faces would kindle in her longings dreams and hopes if one of her friends happened to ride the bus and tried to describe the sights of the town to her valli would be too jealous to listen and would shout in english proud proud neither she nor her friends really understood the meaning of the word but they used it often as a slang expression of disapproval okay fine so they are saying that valli would stare you know wistfully at the people who got on wistfully is longingly means having that desire of doing something so uh, she would look at the people jo bus ke andar ja rahe hain off the bus and when it would stop the street corner and then she would see that how their faces would kindle that they was having a spark in their in her longings and dreams she was so excited to see agar uska one of the friends usko dikhta ki okay mera friend ja raha hai bus mein and she would you know try to describe the sights of the town to her and she would ask her friends also and valli was so jealous ki the my friend has gone to the town i have never went over there you know she would feel jealous about this and she would use this word proud proud she doesn't know the meaning of this word and she thought that this is you know a word of disapproval ki okay theek hai in a negative way but it does she doesn't know the meaning of being proud proud here slang expression is that when we do not know the meaning of something we are using many words in english you people are also using slang expressions these days there are many words which do not have meaning but you are using it they are they are considered slang expressions तो उसके लिए ये स्लैंग कैसे हुआ उसको मीनिंग तो पता नहीं है बट शी इज यूजिंग एनी एक्सप्रेशन विदाउट इवन ऑन द सिचुएशन फाइन सो शी वॉज जेलिस वेन शी सॉ वन ऑफ आर फ्रेंड्स एक्सपीरियंसिंग द राइड ऑन बस बट शी मिस्ड इट 
then over many days and months wali listened carefully to conversations between her neighbors and people who regularly used the bus and she also asked a few discreet questions here and there this way she picked up various small details about the bus journey the town was 6 miles from her village the fare was 30 paise one way which is almost nothing at all now she see, heard one she started stop here she started you know calculating though she is 8 years old but she is smart enough to calculate now she started giving her wish her wish became overwhelming desire her overwhelming desire is coming into practice now she started making plans that how practically it is possible that she started listening to the talks uh, of her neighbors who you know regularly used to go through the buses and all by the buses and she also asked a few discreet questions careful questions dhyan se sunti puchti okay uh, small details about the journey okay town is 6 miles from the village and uska jo kiraya hai fare is 30 paise one way fine bahut pehle ki baat hai 30 paise now it is quite costly so which is almost nothing at all 30 paise ke thi bas acha ek side pe she heard one well dressed man say but to walli who scarcely saw that much money from one month to the next sorry uh, she heard one well dressed man say but to walli uh, so ek aadmi ne usko bataya ki okay sirf 30 paise to lagte hain kuch lagta hi nahi hai so walli kept that thing in her mind na we should be very careful while talking in front of the children also wo dimag mein baatein rakh lete hain and we are not aware even that they are listening who scarcely saw that much money from one month to the next then what happened and the trip took 45 minutes from her village to reach the town it took 45 minutes on reaching town if she stayed in her seat and paid another 30 paise she could return home on the same bus to usko laga ki same buses jaati hain passengers ko wahan pe chhodti hain town mein and new passengers fill up hote hain aur wapas wohi bus wapas aa jati hai she was very good observer she observed that thing first ki i will not get down of the bus i will sit in the bus i will enjoy the journey and same bus mein main 30 paise deke fir wapas aa jaungi this means that this meant that she could take the 1 o'clock afternoon bus reach the town at 1:45 and be back home by about 2:45 to usko laga ki matlab within this time i can go and at that time my mother sleeps also that was the plan okay so on and on went her thoughts as she calculated and recalculated planned and replanned now this is your time now okay tanya you are there you tell me the answer of first question only then i will switch to others what was walli's favorite past time walli's favorite past time was standing in the front doorway of her house watching what was happening in the street outside yes beta exactly so favorite past time was to stand in the front door to look outside observe people observe buses going in people boarding the bus getting down the bus and all fine now you can mute yourself tanya second question who would like to answer raise your hand what was a source of unending joy for walli what was her strongest desire very easy raise your hands those who will get chance ek a different child will get please same child cannot give the answer so i will name those who, those who want to answer please raise your hand yes saksham grover what was the source of unending joy for walli those who will not answer i am i'm going to mark them absent make sure saksham grover are you there make sure you answer well yes bisam very easy question it is yes staring outside of doorway and looking at different people was an unending joy for valli and her strongest desire was to was to visit some place on a bus 
Yes, to ride on the bus. That's correct. So, source of unending joy was to stand at the doorway to observe outside what people are doing, boarding the bus, getting off the train by seeing different experiences of the people. That was the site of pleasure for her and her strongest desire was to ride the bus one day. She had seen many of her friends, neighbors going into the buses to the town and that's, that's why she was having the same desire to ride the bus. Third question, what did Wally find out about the bus journey? How did she find out these details? Recently, abhi pada abhi amne. Raise your hands, beta. Isha Preet. What did Wally find out about the bus journey? How did she find out these details? Class me, sare bache, uh, they give answers, but now it means they are not at all attentive. That's why I asked you to switch on the videos then. Yes, beta. Yes, you can speak. Bali listened carefully to conversations between her neighbors and people and got to know about the bus. She got small details that the town was six miles from her village and the fare was 30 paise one way. Fine. So she, uh, what did Bali find out about the bus journey? She found out about the bus journey that it goes, it reaches the town. It is six miles from her village. Firstly, she found a lot of facts. It reaches within 45 minutes over there. It comes, same bus comes back with new passengers. And how did she find about these details? She listened to the conversations of her neighbors, basically. And sometimes she, uh, she asked her friend also. So from the people, she started gathering information. Fine. What do you think Wally was planning to do? Obviously, Wally was planning to uh, ride the bus. She wanted to experience, she wanted to reach the town and she was planning to come back into the same bus by paying the same fare. So that was her plan, okay? You can add up the details of the time also in the plan. Okay, beta, bell ho chuki hai. And please do these questions also in the notebook. Uh, the moment this chapter will be discussed by tomorrow, iski question answers ho jayenge, then I will ask you to send the notebooks also, okay? Two chapters will be done then I, and prepare your test also. Okay, soon I'll be uh, sending you the details of test this week. You will be appearing and I will be sending the details in the group. Okay, have a nice day.